Okay, good morning guys. Uh, today I'm headed out for a street checkout run. <laughs> Last time I did the uh, uh, off-road uh, checkout run. So this time is going to be uh, the street. So what I'm going to do is uh, just head out my usual loop, fill some gas here, and then I will uh, check out and see uh, how I can uh, practice uh, uh, riding this bike on the street so I will uh, connect with you guys in a bit okay I actually thought I needed gas but it looks like it's uh, still 121 miles I think that should be good enough for today I don't need gas okay so we will head out on our way the bike is easily very easily maneuverable you just kind of drop it in real easy like like how it turns man it's just unbelievable compared to the GSA of course GSA is not bad either <laughs> but uh, so that's the plan so the bike is like you know how easily it goes this way that way it's just really good and the turning radius is really small so that is the biggest difference I think more than anything else uh, and then to slow down, I have to use the, uh, I kind of shift down more than using my brakes because uh, the engine braking works really well. <laughs> Probably better than the brakes. <laughs> so uh, that is actually uh, a good thing in this bike. Uh, so the plan is to go in my usual route and then I will uh, try to do my usual practice because on the street, uh, you know how to uh, get this way and stuff like that for uh, uh, riding I haven't practiced on this bike uh, that well so I just want to go and just make sure I don't forget the basics uh, because this bike is so easy to just drop down like the usual uh, you know as you go off-road kind of a thing you don't do you know this kind of uh, uh, keeping the bike straight and uh, you know getting your body out of the bike uh, too much because the speeds aren't too high but i want to do that and just make sure i don't forget that and it will be eventually needed you know when i go a little faster on this bike once the uh break-in period is done uh, so that's the plan and uh, so i probably might not be talking too much i'll just show you some clips of the ride already fall colors uh, a little bit so uh it's uh, there's no temperature gauge here <laughs> Uh, it's about 65 I think uh, not too bad and uh, I will uh, talk to you guys uh, in a bit or maybe not talk to you guys but just uh, do the ride okay and I will see you guys in a bit try to get the neutral here so that I can switch off the camera Straight up you can see, uh, you know, the crosswinds bother here a little more than the GSA man, you can see that. <laughs> that point you know it was blowing me <laughs> uh, pretty much uh, sideways uh, so that's because the bike is so light compared to the GSA but uh, again about 60 uh, 65 miles an hour it's pretty uh, straightforward I think you can do about 65 70 uh, all day uh -huh. So that's not too bad, that pretty much will uh, get me to wherever I need to go <laughs> uh, on a long trip. And right now I'm, I'm barely uh, pushing uh, 65, 6,000 uh, 6, RPM, so you know I think uh, 7,000, 7,500 will get me about 70 miles an hour and that's you know comfortable, I'm not really redlining this bike on that, uh, so you know I think uh, that's 
that's a pretty uh, satisfying thing for me I think uh, uh, in terms of the uh, off-road capability it provides uh, you know street look at that downhill I'm going 70 miles an hour without any effort <laughs> 71 that's not bad at all it doesn't feel as if your bike is flying off and parts are flying off right? so it's not too bad And the windscreen, my friend tells me, if you put a taller windscreen, actually it just, uh, it's not, it doesn't work as well. Uh, it's better off with this kind of a windscreen here. Okay, uh, here comes a twisty section. Let's see how we do it here. I'm seeing that I can uh, keep it at a lot higher gear than I had than my GSA on in the turns uh, so I used to do third gear on these guys 35 mile an hour and I can do probably fourth or even fifth uh, I'll do four maybe Let's see how that works yeah not bad at all 40 mile an hour I can do sixth <laughs> Go straight up to six on this. See the crosswinds push you around. I'll develop a little more confidence on you know how I'm uh, having my legs on these bikes on the bike here so that just comes with a little bit more practice on this bike I think because right now uh, with the GSA there was a notch there and I could uh, kind of hook my leg out there so here I got to find that notch but the bike is smaller so I can uh, you know uh, maneuver it fast, you know, much easier than the GSA. Uh, so I guess I can carry a lot more speed on it. Uh, we're coming to the town of, uh, I think it's Weston. This is where my leg, I need to make sure I can hook it up correctly here. That's where it is.
confuses me all the time. I can do third on that. On the turns like that, I can do third. That's all. Each, each bike, you need to figure out uh, which gear you want to be on at which uh, speed turns and uh, different kinds of uh, curves. Uh, that way, uh, that's how you get used to the bike, I guess. <laughs> and then you can just, uh, you know, get the best out of the bike. Uh. Like, for example, this seems to be straightforward. I can just be in top gear. ahead get set yep I'm getting used to the leg position now a lot more comfortable squirrel that's uh, good enough fun here uh, I'm doing about uh, 60 65 miles an hour on these back roads and uh, eh, you know that's that's decent fun you don't need to go faster than that reduces your reaction times I'm already pushing 65 so 70 might be really easy and that's awesome that's all I need if I need to go faster I just need to reduce my weight <laughs> Anyway, uh, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I might, uh, you know, take some pictures on the way somewhere. But uh, I think it's a, a pretty good bike, and uh, for what I need to do, 35 mile an hour. Let's take one last curve here. 35, I can do about uh, fourth gear, I think, easily. Okay. And then look ahead, leg, handlebars, light. There's 55 on that, so it's not too bad. Hold on hold, yeah. Yeah, my leg position is getting a lot more comfortable. I can feel the bike at the right spot. Handlebars get loose, face goes down, and rocket through the corner. Yep. Okay guys, uh, once again, uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video.